The UTSA Roadrunners have finally cracked the Associated Press College Football Top 25 for the first time this season after two major firsts in school history. For the second straight season, UTSA will host the Conference USA Championship game this Friday. Only this time, they will do so after an undefeated season in conference play, a first for UTSA, and they're now ranked in both national polls for the first time since last December. Number 23 in the AP Top 25, number 24 in the USA Today Coaches Poll. The Roadrunners capped their historic regular season with a monumental comeback victory, erasing a 24-point deficit to defeat UTEP 34-31 in their regular season finale. That's the largest comeback in program history. Quarterback Frank Harris was sensational, completing 16 passers of 384 yards and three touchdowns to help the Roadrunners earn their ninth straight victory. It means a lot. First time, you know, program history being 8-0. Um, who, who would ever thought, you know, first coming in, you know, having losing seasons. Just a testament to uh, Coach Trailer and the staff changing the coach around and uh, us um, going out there and executing. That's 12 straight games, man, where they freaking give it up now. Their competitive spirit. It's like no one's. And uh, I already knew when it's 24 nothing. I'm not going to be asking me, you know, why is Frank still out there and why and I pulled the kids yet. And I was going to tell them, we're going to come back and win the game. And by God, we did. The Roadrunners now take on North Texas in the championship game Friday at 6.30 at the Alamo Dome. UTSA defeated the Mean Green 31-27 in the Dome back on October 22nd. 20 Trinities, I should say, remarkable season came to an end in the second round of the Division III playoffs against the defending national champions Mary Harden Baylor, once trailing 17 to nothing. Tigers scored 17 points in the second half to make it a 24-17 game with 11 minutes left to play, but ultimately couldn't find a way to get over that hump in a 24-17 loss. This group's never going to give up. Um, they, they, they've planted oak trees that are going to cast shade for a long time in this program about what it is to be resilient and have a next man up um, attitude. And um, they'll be back. We'll be back. Um, but, you know, this is going to hurt because they're, they're competitors. Trinity finishes their season with 11-1 record in the deepest playoff run since 2002. After enjoying a bye week, UIW returns to action for the second round of the FCS playoffs on Saturday. The seven-seeded Cardinals will host 10-2 Furman Saturday at 1 at Benson Stadium. The Paladins defeated Elon 31-6 in the first round. And quarterback Lindsey Scott Jr. will lead one of the highest-scoring offenses in the nation onto the field. Scott has thrown 50 touchdown passes this year. And after failing to have a winning season the last four, today Texas State head football coach Jake Spavital was fired. In a statement released by the school this afternoon, athletic director Don Coriel said that he met with Coach Spavital to inform him they were making a change in the leadership of our football program. In four seasons, Spavital finished 13-35 and 35 overall. They included 3-9 and nine in 2019, 2-10 and 10 in 2020, back to back four and eight seasons of 21 and 22. Coriel says the search for a new head football coach is already underway.